The Second World War witnessed several historic events, a very notorious one being the use of kamikaze soldiers by the Japanese. They were mostly young boys who went on suicide missions for their country and sacrificed their lives in the process. Although military personnel have always paid the ultimate price for defending their nation, this was essentially the first case of deliberate mass suicide by soldiers. The decision by Japan to use suicide bombers during World War II remains one that not many people understand to date. Want to know just why many young Japanese gave in so willingly to die defending their country? Hang on as we explore the origin of the kamikaze soldiers of Japan. As always, remember to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Do leave us a comment as well as we'd love to read your opinion on the mystery of Japan's suicide bombers. Before 1945, Japan had a sacred emperor named Mishinomiya Hirohito, and he was the country's supreme ruler, being highly revered by all Japanese. Given his supreme authority and near-divine status, the Japanese people were totally submissive to his rules and ideologies. One of his greatest doctrines was the glorious and great act of ceremonial suicide. Death became a norm for the young generation as it was indoctrinated in them from a very tender age. The popular belief in Japanese culture was that a family would have a great name if any of its male members sacrificed himself for the nation's sake. This formed the basis of what the Japanese people perceived to be honor both in life and death. So when Japan faced off against the Allied forces during the Second World War, many young Japanese boys saw it as a great opportunity to bring eternal honor to their families. The Japanese army would go on to create a special aviator squad of selfless soldiers that were willing to offer themselves as human sacrifices for this purpose. This was essentially the origin of the Japanese kamikaze soldiers and pilots. Every aspect of their training prepared them for their inevitable death by suicide. Special ceremonies were held by families of young boys who'd completed the training and come next in line as a kamikaze soldier. They'd offered prayers to the Japanese god of war for the determined and suicidal pilots representing Japan most of whom were teenage boys or in their early 20s. As it became increasingly obvious that Japan could not handle the wave of the war waged by the Allied powers, the decision to use suicide bombers was no doubt a desperate measure to prevent Allied powers from invading Japan. The struggle to cope with the fighting power of the Allied force by the Japanese was understandable. They had concrete and advanced fighting equipment as opposed to obsolete weapons of war being used by the Japanese army. The Allied forces also had more soldiers, which made the idea of suicide bombs a brilliant idea that the Japanese could deploy in causing high casualties to the Allied army. But these efforts by the Japanese would not yield the expected result as the naval air force of the Allied forces was much stronger and was fully ready to invade Japan with its arsenal of advanced weapons. US battleships were also fully loaded with ammunition, particularly anti-aircraft guns, and with which many of the kamikaze pilots were shut down mid-air. It became inevitable that the kamikaze pilots would go on a suicide mission as their only hope of forcing the British and Americans to retreat. Geisha girls performed in the ceremony to send forth to the soldiers leaving for the war. As a way of honoring them, their names and pictures were featured in national newspapers. They all wore ceremonial robes, appearing as heroes of Japan. With their heads shaved, these soldiers walked in slow processions as they headed for their first and last mission. The only thought on their mind being to die honorably in the ruins of the Allied powers. They had their mind fixated on wrecking the British and American targets. According to historians, about 3,800 Japanese kamikaze pilots flew fighter jets on suicide missions that were directed at the battleships of the Allied forces. The Allied forces' soldiers lost an estimated 7,000 naval personnel to the attacks by kamikaze pilots. The first kamikaze operation, as expected, caught the US forces by surprise. They thought it was a pilot-guided missile, as they could never have imagined that several soldiers would be willing to explode with an aircraft. The objective was clear to the kamikaze pilots, which was dive and sink the Allied battleships. Buka bomb, one of the suicide weapons used by the Japanese army, carries about 2,000 tons of explosives. The Kamikaze pilots' raid also used different aircraft, including Oka, Mitsubishi Zero, A6M5, and the A6M2. The Kamikaze operation was in part successful due to the specialized aircrafts that were used for these missions. 
These warplanes came with a big fuel tank that made the explosions massive whenever the jets successfully hit the targeted battleships. The kamikaze pilots were also specifically instructed to target the area so allied battleships had contained the fuel tanks with the idea that hitting that spot would completely destroy the warships. Secondly, the instruction given to the kamikaze pilot was to target the main fuel tank. Launching their attacks through the air and at a speed of about 600 miles per hour, it was especially difficult for the anti-aircraft guns to prevent the planes from crashing into the battleships. Japan's head of aviation, Captain Motoharu Okamura, would often describe the kamikaze pilots as bees, taking the analogy from the fact that bees often lose their lives after a thorough sting. The kamikaze pilots understood that this was a mission of no return, one which made Okamura's analogy rather perfect. The decision to use young pilots was to preserve the experienced pilots for close combat. The Japanese army expected that there would be a moment when the fighters would need to dogfight and bombard their opponents. Therefore, they had to train a special aviation squad to carry out the kamikaze operation. The aircraft flown by Japan's suicide bombers had no landing gear, which made the operation a carefully planned and deliberate suicide mission. While suicide bombings are widely considered as being deliberate attempts by terrorists to steer political violence, the Japanese saw it as being honorable and a necessary defense mechanism. Since the Japanese army had failed to prevent the approach of the American battleships, something had to be done swiftly, hence the invention of the kamikaze pilots. A significant achievement of the Japanese suicide bombings was the wreckage of the famous carrier, Bunker Hill, which led to the death of several US naval personnel despite its desperate attempts to rescue the ship. Undoubtedly, Okinawa will continue to be a place remembered in history as the thorny path to Japan and where thousands of gallant lives and several valuable ships were lost.